This video will show how to register and verify your email domains in Trend Micro Email Security as well as route your emails through the service. From the Trend Micro Email Security Management Console, go to Domains tab and here you will see your registered email domains. If you have more domains to register, simply click on Add and provide the required information, such as the domain name, the IP address or FQDN of your incoming mail server, the port number, and the preference value. Optionally, you can add an email address to which a test email will be sent to verify that Trend Micro email security can connect to your mail server. If you wish to send your outbound emails through Trend Micro email security for scanning, then select the option to enable outbound protection. Then identify the source of your outbound emails. It could be Office 365, Google G Suite, or user-defined mail servers, where you can add the IP addresses of your outbound mail servers and click Add Domain. At this point, you should see your newly added domain in the list. You should also notice that there is a red exclamation mark next to it telling you that the domain is not yet verified. Also, the status of your domain is showing as configuration required. At this stage, Trend Micro Email Security will not accept no relay emails for your domain yet. To fix this, you should first verify your domain. To do that, click on your domain name and follow the procedures as stated on the screen. You could either add the required text record to your DNS server or add an MS record. I will now pause the recording to add the text record. I have now created the required text record on my DNS server. As you can see in this result of the NS lookup on the command prompt. At this point, I should be able to click on verify and it should tell me that this domain has been verified. Click on save and the red exclamation mark next to my domain name has disappeared. At this point, Trend Micro Email Security may start accepting emails, relaying emails for my domain. However, there are still a couple of red exclamation marks under the inbound servers and outbound server section. To fix that, click on the domain name again. On the inbound server section, it tells you to verify that your mail server is accepting connections from a set of IP addresses that Trend Micro Email Security uses for sending inbound emails to your domain. If you are sure that your mail servers are configured to accept emails from these IPs, then simply click on Test Connection and it should be successful. 
the next step is to add trend micro email security into your MX records and give it the lowest preference value. I will pause the recording again and make this change in my MX records. I have now created the required MX record in my DNS server with the lower preference value as you can see in the result of this MX lookup. At this point, I should be able to click on verify button and it should also be successful. Then I can click on save and the red exclamation mark under inbound servers is now gone. At this point, your inbound emails should now go through Trend Micro email security and be scanned for any threats or spam content. If you're not relaying your outbound emails to Trend Micro email security, then you should be finished at this point. However, if you plan to route your outbound mail servers to Trend Micro email security, then we should also fix the red exclamation mark showing under outbound servers. To do that, click on your domain name again. Scroll down to the outbound server section and follow the procedure to add spf.tmes.trendmaker.com to your domain's SPF record. This is recommended to protect yourself from being spoofed. I will pause the video again and update my SPF record to include the TMES entry. I have now added TMES into my domain's SPF record in DNS. As you can see in this result of the NS lookup command. At this point, I can again click on verify and it should also be successful. I click on save and that red exclamation mark is now gone and at this point the status of my domain should show completed. 